Hillcats are 17 and 7, the best start in team history. They also sit atop the Carolina League. I am joined by manager Mark Budzinski. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So you're about to kick off a seven game home series. You ready? We're good to be home. Get some work done. We're excited. Let's go back to spring training for a second. If you were told that you were going to start off 17 and 7, what would you have thought? Well, certainly we'll take it, but that's not what's most important at this level in an A ball is to make sure we're getting our work and developing our players to try to move them to the next level and obviously eventually to a big league. So that's what's most important. But certainly we want to, we want winning players too, and uh, we're excited that you know they're coming out and, and executing on the field. And are you surprised at all by that red hot start your team had? No, not at all. I know we, we you know, our guys worked very hard in spring training, put themselves in a good position to start the season off hot, and just proud of you know all aspects of the game—the pitching, the defense, the offense, the base running—it's all been very good so far. And speaking of, could you assess the pitching so far this season? Yeah, outstanding, really. Our, our starters have really given us a chance just about every every game we've been out there to to win the game and put us in a good position to. You know, even if we're down a run or two late, we've got the offense to be able to make that up, and we never feel like we're out of a game until it's over. And what about defensively? Are you happy with what you're seeing? Yeah, overall, we had a little, you know, stretch this last uh, series in Carolina where we, we threw the ball and kicked the ball around a little bit, but that's going to happen from time to time. It happens at every level. And we went out today, uh, you know, in early work and, and concentrated on a few things that we need to clean up, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll continue to do so and, and play better defensively. Are there any players that have surprised you with how much they've improved or how they've started the season? You know, I don't want to single anybody out, Kestrel. Uh, really, all the guys have worked hard. There's, they each have their specific goals and plans they're working on, and, and they're making progress on those, which is most important to us as a staff and as an organization. And uh, we're just proud of the, the effort they're putting in right now and the, and the, the gains they're making in, in each of their goals and plans. So you are about to kick off the seven-game homestand. Is there something that you're looking for your guys to improve on, and what else are you looking for them to continue to succeed with? Yeah, I mean, we, we work hard early week. We want to be able to take that in the game and execute. So I think execution is the number one thing, whether it's on the mound, in the batter's box, or in the field, or on the bases. Uh, we want to be able to execute and think ahead and put ourselves in a position to make good decisions and, and play well. Absolutely. And we're sitting here underneath overcast skies. Is there an adjustment you make in your strategy when rain is in the forecast like it is this week? <laughs> Not necessarily, strat necessarily strategy, but in, in our pregame work, we were on the field, obviously, starting batting practice and had to put the tarp on. So we moved it into the cage and uh, we'll get some more work done in the cage prior to, uh, to get on the field. But other than that, nothing changes with the game. We just get ready to play whenever they tell us we can play. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us and good luck this week. Thank you. Thanks for having me.